Getting refused 214B is one of the hardest things that a visa applicant goes through. Um, there's a lot of shock, there's a lot of hurt, and a lot of anger, but the question is, what comes next? The most important thing to think about after your visa refusal is you really need to consider what exactly was the cause of it? Because the officer's not gonna tell you. We're trained as visas officers not to engage and give conversations as to why there was a refusal. So if you get that 214B letter, it's the same letter for everybody, you really need to be thinking about what were the reasons why this officer refused me? What were the questions that they were asking? And this is where something like Argo actually is very beneficial because you can talk to a visa officer former visa officer, and they can tell you and explain to you why the officer was even asking those questions and probably the reason why that 214B letter was given to you. After you get that visa refusal, one idea I always tell people is to write down everything that happened in the interaction. Write down what the questions were asked and how you answer those questions. And that's critical in helping to understand the reasons why you might have been refused a visa. Um, you really need to be talking to experts, experts in this field who can help you analyze what those questions were, why the officer was asking those questions, and maybe what about your answers led that officer to want to refuse your visa. And so the big first thing you can do, write down everything that happened during that visa interview denial.